Don't be scared, I will talk English again today. So welcome to a new video. I need to go to the airport, but I need to film my video, so we will do it now. I have exactly 49 minutes and then I need to be ready. Two things before I start. Um, first, this video will be in English because uh, I think a lot of people ask for it. It's a video you can watch either in German or in English. It makes no difference. But if you're German, please stay. Please be open to what I'm doing now. Second point, this video will be about my bags and I don't want to brag about them. I just want to be honest and show you my bags because a lot of people ask for it. Since I'm obsessed with uh, deep dive fashion videos on YouTube. I will include some information about the brands and the bags in the video. I researched them yesterday in bed. I have five of them here. I have a lot of bags. Bags are kind of my go to pleasure with Kenny Bulla and maybe Jan and books. I think an outfit can be very minimalistic, but if you have a good bag that fits, that makes the outfit to an outfit. I think I will just start with my first bag, this one. It's from Nuno. Nuno? Nuno? It's a Scandinavian brand. I feel like I'm back in school, like I'm presenting something in front of my class. But I'm not, I'm with you and that's way better. The entire idea behind the brand is basically that they want to create edgy and it girl bags but for an affordable price and not exclusive this one costs around 100 euros maybe i think it's my practical cool bag because as you may see it has a lot of pockets like one here then here one here here and here i can easily put my wallet phone charger power bank camera lip gloss and a hairbrush in it. It's just a practical cool bag because it has this strap you can put it over the back or you can wear it crossbody with this one. I saw this bag a lot back in 2018 here in Stockholm and a lot of people have it here and I think also in Denmark and it slowly comes to Germany because Germany takes a little bit more time for everything and yes this is Nuno okay we need to hurry up uh, I have my next bag this is my Fendi bag it's my most recent bag I think yes it is and I bought it uh, vintage this is my going out bag because it's small but not too small, very cute and chic and I think that's also like the main idea of this bag. The design refers to Parisian women who put a baguette under their arm. This is the main idea for this bag. You can just easily put it over your shoulder and it's very comfortable on your shoulder. A little fun fact I didn't know is that this FF style here in the middle doesn't stand for Fendi. It stands for Fun Fuel. If you've seen Sex and the City, you know this bag. As you know, Carrie Bradshaw loves Fendi bags. And they are also called baguette bags because of the Parisian woman. And the Fendi bag is the bag in the scene where Carrie Bradshaw gets... I don't know if she actually gets robbed. But they say, give me your purse or something. And then she says, it's a baguette. And that's why the Fendi bag isn't just a bag, it's more than a bag, it's a Fendi bag. This scene had a huge impact on the popularity of this bag. I really love this bag, but I need to say that I bought it, I think, a little bit too expensive. I think you get a Fendi bag cheaper online. Maybe it's because of this special design, but... I think I paid a little bit too much. That's why I'm not sure if it's worth it. But I think a Fendi bag is a really good purchase because you've seen that it's coming back over the years. I think it was first designed in the 90s and then it had its hype because of Sex and the City in the 2000s and now it's coming back. And I think it's really cool. It's really, really cool. I love this bag. Maybe I will link some bags in 
the description, especially vintage bags because this one is vintage so I think I can't find the exactly same one but I will try. And now we will come to my favorite brand and I think one of the most popular brands at the moment. Of course it is Pauline Paris. It's definitely one of my favorite brands these days but I have to say it has a really big hype. Sometimes that makes me less interesting in the brand because I think oh my god it's so boring everyone has it. It's not always bad to buy something because of a hype. If something has bad quality but it is in a hype I think it's not worth it but if you really like it and it has good quality and it lasts long then I think you can definitely buy something because of a hype. It's a Parisian or French brand and they are very new. They founded in 2016 also. I think they had some influence from MS, maybe. And they design mostly very natural shapes and natural colors. They have very good quality. They get their leather from Spain and Italy. And I really love the quality. This was my first Bolin Paris bag. I think I got it one and a half years maybe ago and it looks still pretty new no it has actually not a single scratch is it scratch? Kratzer? I don't know but it's really good quality I love the shape, I love the color and I have this one I even have another one but it's at home in Germany my mom wants to have this one but I'm not sure if I want to give it to her Actually, it's one of my favorite bags. And this is the famous Hype bag. I see it a lot on Instagram, but in this color. I think my favorite bag from Pauline Paris is this bag, but tastes are different. It's one of the brands that teach me that huge brand names don't always mean good quality. And this is not a huge brand. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't. And I have to say the price is pretty affordable. It's still a lot of money, but for what you get and which quality they have, it's an okay price. It's not expensive expensive like MS because you only pay for the brand name, especially LMS or something. I think it's a good bag if you want to invest in a bag and if you want to keep it for a long time and if you really like the design I think it's worth it even though it's a hype. This one is always sold out. You don't get it. I want to have the brown one and I try to get it. I got these gifted from Pauline Paris. I tried to get my hands on the brown version of this bag for a long time but I don't get it because it's always sold out. So if you want to have it you need to I think I don't know if you need to sign in a list. It's still my most used bag so it's really worth it. And now we are coming to my last bag. This is also one of my favorite bags. You may notice I love all of my bags. Here we have this icon. This is the Balenciaga City Bag. It's also vintage. I got it at Enco here in Stockholm. They have a new vintage bag store and I actually, I think I was the first bag that was sold. Because I went there in the morning they opened at like 10.30 or something. So I got the first bag. When they first launched this bag in 2001 they only made 25 bags I think because they didn't expect that they would get so popular but Kate Moss, legend and icon, got her hands on one of the bags so she wore it and then it got famous because when Y2K comes back they made a redesign of it I don't know when they did it, but I personally don't like the new version of it. This one is a classic bag and I really love it. It's one of my favorite bags at the moment because a lot fits in it. And grey is a good color because it fits to black, it fits to blue, it fits to brown. It's just perfect. I personally wouldn't buy something new from Balenciaga because I don't want to give this brand money. These are some of my favorite bags. I have some more and some more opinions and but I think for now we have it thank you for watching thank you for being here with me I hope you liked it I hope you liked some more information about the bags okay um, I need to go I need to go to the airport I'm late so bye bye